tell me, what do readers need to know going into Grayson Future Zen number one? First of all, you don't need to read Future Zen. If you're reading Grayson, you can jump right in. And second of all, it's probably the favorite thing I've ever written. I love it. Wow! Yeah, it's, it's something a little different. It's the entire history of Dick Grayson. It's from the time he became the Dick Grayson you know today to five years from now and where he is. He's a super spy now, but you see how in five years from now he's been compromised in sort of that super spy position and how that compromising of his powers is related directly to where he started out as the acrobat first becoming uh, Robin. Mm -hmm. So it goes right from there to the end of his career. And it's told in an interesting way. I did mm -hmm. something I don't think has been done in mainstream superheroes in terms of how we tell yeah. the story. It's a, I don't want to spoil it, but it's different. And you'll notice it right away. And it's what I call a puzzle issue. There's a puzzle. There's something you have to solve as you're reading it. And when you read it a first time, you'll get the puzzle and you'll go back and see the clues as you read it. Oh, so it's a very cool. cool thing. How does your background as a spy sort of yourself <laughs> really play into or help your writing with this character? Well, I can't, for obvious reasons, write about actually what I did or actually yeah. like do any sort of any about that. But what I can do is put the emotional beats in. You know, I, I've had to lie to my family. I, I've had to, you know, go do a job where I was pretending to do something else. Um, I, I, I sort of felt that, like the, the, the incredible bliss and, and, and wonder that comes with helping your country and then not being able to tell anyone about it. And I try to put those emotional beats into the story and, and let that sort of come out for, for what Dick's experiencing being inside Spiral. And I think the greatest mystery of Robin is why he wore a yellow and red costume while Batman wore a black one. It seems like an utterly absurd thing to do. Yeah. The explanation for why that happens is in this issue. Oh my God. Future's End. Okay. Number one. Guys, there's your pitch. It's there. I'm sold. DC All Access is on a little bit of a breather right now, but don't worry, we will be back with full episodes coming back on September 16th. Yep. My agent actually called me and said the reason that we're stopping is because they hired robots to replace okay. us. Okay, I don't think that that's true, Blair. I think that's what robot typically would say.